Hello again, and welcome back to Educator.com's Advanced PHP with MySQL course. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to connect to our MySQL database from within a PHP script. Specifically, we're going to talk about, uh, or briefly talk about what how the PHP uh, MySQL um, architecture works, basically how those two pieces of software interact. We're going to talk about something known as the MySQL I or MySQL Improved Extension that's provided and built into PHP that allows us to connect to a MySQL database from PHP. We're going to talk about the steps that you need to um, connect, to the steps you need to complete to interact with the MySQL database from PHP, which is going to include these four steps here that we're going to talk about in detail, which would be connecting to the database, actually running your SQL statement, processing any results uh, from running the statement, and then closing your connection to the database. So quickly, I just wanted to uh, mention about the PHP and MySQL architecture. Uh, basically, what we, we've been doing so far is we've been using our uh, MySQL monitor, which is a program running in our Windows, uh, Windows command prompt to connect to our MySQL database. Sometimes it's not the best artist. Sometimes it's drawn like that, which we know runs as a server on our local host. So what we do is we make a connection from the MySQL monitor uh, to PH, I mean, to the MySQL database, and then run our commands, such as we practiced where we learned about insert commands and select commands. Well, we basically need to have a way to issue those commands um, to MySQL from PHP as well. So basically what we have is, instead of this MySQL monitor, we're going to have a PHP script that's going to act that's going to do something to access MySQL and it's it has methods uh, that are going to be used to actually connect to the MySQL database so what happens when a user requests a web page that has um, that accesses a MySQL database you have a, a web client like Firefox which sends an HTTP request as we know, to a web server, in this case, in XAMPP, Apache. Apache, you'll see that it's a PHP file. It'll go ahead and it'll invoke uh, the PHP interpreter. And the PHP interpreter is going to understand these commands that um, access MySQL. And behind the scenes, what it's going to be doing is actually going out and connecting to the MySQL database, just as we did over here with the MySQL monitor. Um, and so the way it set up is we've added sort of another piece to this uh, web architecture that we have. Instead of just a browser and Apache and, and PHP, uh, we've added this MySQL back <coughs> backend uh, that is directly uh, communicated with via PHP. And the way that uh, we're going to communicate with our MySQL database in PHP is using uh, an extension that's built into PHP by default. It's called MySQL I, which stands for MySQL Improved. Uh, it's an improved library for interacting with the MySQL database. Um, and basically, it's an extension uh, that in XAMPP is enabled by default. Uh, and the way you would enable it, if it wasn't, just so you know, is um, php.ini uh, has configuration directives to install extensions. And actually, some of the extensions we've been using, uh, such as Mail, for example, are, um, have already been enabled in our php.ini file, and we haven't <clears throat> specifically talked about them. But just so you know, um, they have an extension word with equal, and then you list the name, in this case, of a, um, of a DLL file, uh, because it's a Windows operating system that tells MySQL, basically, I mean, it tells PHP when it loads, um, when it loads the PHP configuration to also load this extension. So this extension here, php underscore mysql i dot dll, basically contains the um, software that's needed to connect to a MySQL database from PHP. Um, the extension provides both an object-oriented and procedural interface. Um, what that means is that you can use just simple function calls to connect to a database. For example, uh, in our filelib.php, we have defined just general user-defined functions that we call without um, having to uh, specify an object instance. So for example, um, we have like the get item function that we call in our code uh, just as such. Now if that was part of an object, we might call it like this, assuming it was a non-static method. 
So um, this extension provides a way to use either, um, either method. You can use just straight function calls or you can use the object-oriented method. In this class, we're going to be using the object-oriented interface. Um, and it's, we're going to be making use of two classes that are provided by this MySQL extension uh, to use this object-oriented interface. The first one is called uh, MySQL I. That's the name of the class. And that's actually going to represent a connection to the MySQL database. And we're going to use that to execute queries. Uh, there's also a class that we're going to be using called MySQL I underscore results, which basically represents uh, results you get back from running, for example, a select query on a database. Uh, in today's lesson, we're not going to be talking about uh, this, this um, MySQLI class. We're going to talk about that in a lesson um, when we learn how to run select statements from PHP. Uh, but today, we are going to be introduced into uh, the MySQLI class.